Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I apologize I'm a little bit late uh, but because I was creating actually another broadcast in my other account. So later if you like to join us uh, because I just saw a video and I could not resist the temptation uh, where uh, <clears throat> it says in the video there uh, and this is made by uh, Dr. Sab Sabil Ahmed. Dr. Sabil Ahmed is a specialized in fraud and lies. And we are going to spank him. So what can modern science learn from Prophet Muhammad? Allah, 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 man. Allah, modern science can learn from Prophet Muhammad. I mean, are you kidding me? So we are going to go live in my other account later at night in my time. So if you'd like to join us, uh, this is my account, Christian Prince. Uh, the video will be called Answering What Can Muslim Science Learn from Prophet Muhammad? Peace. I like it when they say peace. I mean, it's a lot of peace there. Now, this is the link for those who like to join us later in case you do not know how to find this account. This is the account. We use it as a backup for our videos. So we make videos there where uh, we can use other Muslim videos because if you use it here, uh, Muslim, they will claim copyright. So we have many backup accounts, which is useless. I mean, we don't care for them if we lose them. So we use them to get them busted. So uh, click at this uh, link, please, and uh, subscribe to that channel. And uh, be sure you join us later. Uh, it says I will be live in 10 hours. Me, 10 hours. But you know what? Time goes so fast with the Prophet Muhammad. You don't even feel it. Because when you are in love, you feel no time. No time. Oh, hold on. As long as we are talking about timing and science of a Prophet Muhammad, what about we mention how Prophet Muhammad he discovers uh, at, at, uh, how timing work? As an example, brother, the Prophet Muhammad is the only Prophet who discover where the sun goes during the sunset. Hmm? I mean, nobody, by the way, he was able to find this. I was sitting behind the Messenger of Allah, S-A-W-S. And by the way, this is S-A-W-S, for those who do not know, is a kind of a protein connected to nicotine. So when you connect both together, you get Muhammadin. The Muslims, they are so much worshipping this man to the point they cannot even say his name without something behind his name. S-A-W, Allah pray on him and salute him. F-E-U-O-A-H. I mean, we Christians, we worship Jesus the Christ. He's our God. Yes, we call him Jesus. You see that, friend? He's our God. But because they are possessed with this devil, Muhammad. And look, look at the science. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, S-A-W-S, who was riding a donkey while the sun was sitting. He asked, and always Muhammad, he cannot keep his mouth shut. And this is what I like about him, actually. He is the kind who his mouth is always running. You see, you have somebody have a flu, his nose is running. English is funny, by the way. First time I learned this uh, in English, like, I have a running nose. We have what? A running nose. I was looking at his nose. It's not going anywhere. But anyway, so the prophet, his mouth is always running. He cannot shut his mouth. And the more he talks, the more he do poo-poo. So look what the prophet Muhammad science come with. He said, uh, uh, and, and Muhammad, by the way, he loved it when you say to him, uh, I replied, Allah and his apostles know best. He loved it, this, this phrase, Allah and his, because he knows best. You know what I mean? I mean, it's proven. Prophet Muhammad, he knows best. So the whole, like the, the better of, uh, I mean, like when you have a sandwich, you put better inside, right? So the better of the sandwich of Muhammad is Allah and his prophet knows best. This is what he wants from you. Just say that, and then he will tell you whatever you want. And then the jewel of Muhammad came. It's set in a spring of warm water. And by the way, this is true. This is true. And this is semantically proven to be true. And I challenge you to say Muhammad is not telling the truth. Hmm? It's true. It's absolutely true. Actually, when I read those hadith, brother, I feel I have tears in my eyes, sometime in my ears. This is so good to be true. So the Muslims, they have tons of videos speaking about 
the science of Allah, the science of the Prophet. And by the way, the Quran say the same. It is the Quran who says the sun set in murky water. And then the Muslim, in order to cover the, the, the stupidity of the Quran, they say, no brother, no brother. It appear for Alexander the Great that the sun set in murky water. First of all, like you say, when you go to the ocean, brother, you see that the sun going in the ocean. So the guy he thought is going in the ocean. The guy he thought, where in the verse says the guy he thought. Secondly, it doesn't say ocean. It says a spring. Spring. So you cannot deceive us, says that somebody saw a water going in a spring of water. I mean, the sun going in a spring of water. Let us go to the Quran, brother. Let us go to the Quran. 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 Uh, Hmm. The Muslims they made tons of videos trying to explain this this garbage, but all of it it's it's a big fat failure. It says here if you read carefully. They asked thee Concerning Zulkarnain. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody who's named the guy with the two horn? Is he a human? It doesn't even say a guy. It says Zulkarnain, the one with the two horn. Is he a deer? Maybe he's a deer. Maybe he's a cow. What is... Tell us what the name of the guy. You are talking about who? No. And now every Muslim, he give you his own interpretation. So some, they agree it's Alexander the Great. Some, they say he is a, a Christian prince because, you know, he was like a... He joined the Roman, you know, at that time. Some day, uh, this is what the true. This is not true, by the way. I did not join the Roman. I was fighting but in the side of the Persian against the Roman, you know. Uh, because at that time, I used to have a, a relationship with the, uh, with four Persian women, you know. So they told me, you fight with us, right? I said, sure. You know, I'm not going to betray my four wives, the Persian wives. But later, when I get four wives from the Roman, I switch sides, you know, so I start fighting with the Roman. And this is mentioned in the Quran, too. I will show you the verse. So here, brother, it says, they're asking you concerning Zulqarnain. Say, I will rehearse you something. Okay, who is the one who will tell us that the fact about it? Allah. So here, Allah is claiming knowledge, supposedly. They are asking Muhammad to see how much he knew about Zulqarnain, the guy with the two horn. Meh. So, I will tell you, who is saying that Allah? So anything you see here is Allah talking. The Muslims, in order to cover the stupidity of chapter 18, which, by the way, I advise everyone to read it, all of it. It is, a, it is the most hilarious chapter in the Quran after the, the 113 chapters, which means all of them are hilarious anyway. So they are asking you about Zulqarnain. Okay, I will tell you about it. I will tell you something of his story. I like it when he says something. Something of his story. Please tell us the whole story. Something of his story. So who is the one who is talking? Allah. Who is the one saying, I will tell you something of his? Allah. Alexander the Great is not talking. So when they fabricate, they say, oh, he saw it appear as even in Ibn Kathir he says that because Ibn Kathir was tortured by the Christians the Christians they were making fun of Muhammad in Syria <laughs> and Ibn Kathir trying to defend uh, it is very well known that uh, the sun doesn't set in murky water uh, you know but this is how he thought let us see if this is true actually we we prove it to be that's that's what the Quran says here we go the hadith of Muhammad saying so Muhammad he got them all busted and what the Muslim they will say that this is a this is a weak hadith? No, this is not. This is not. So let us see. Or oh, they will say to you, a brother, the same hadith reported by other reporters, they did not mention the moat the water. Hmm. So what Prophet he speak many times. And the Prophet uh, he uh, um, you know he forgot always what he's saying. And we can mention tons of stories. This is why the Quran came in seven letters, because Muhammad, he cannot repeat the same verse twice. 
This is why there's two Muslims, they were fighting about, the, the verse doesn't say that. No, the verse says that. I heard the prophet saying, no, it doesn't say that. No, I heard the prophet saying that. So they start fighting almost with each other. And then they brought them to Muhammad. And Muhammad said to the first one, recite it for me. She turned to him, okay, you did, it, you did it the right way. You recited for me. The guy recited, he said, you did it right too. Both of them, they are looking at him. How they can be both are right when they are different? The Prophet says, oh, the Quran sent to me in seven letters. Seven ways. <laughs> the fraud. So now, if we go in the Quran, we go back. Allah now will tell us, go and tell us a story. Verily, we establish his power in earth. Alexander the Great was a Muslim, but he was a bisexual. That's explained everything. And we gave him the ways in the, and the means to all ends. Eh, the guy, he went to the end of the world. Hmm? He controlled the earth according to the Quran actually because it says uh, we establish his power on earth so all the earth is under the control of th this man which is absolutely false one way he followed okay so he said he followed away what a way let us see until he reached the sitting of the Sun mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anyone want something if anyone wants some tea, please let me know. Okay, uh, this is tea, not no camel urine. We will use camel urine if we are drinking the Middle East. We are now in America, so we are not allowed to use camel urine. Otherwise, the head department they will chase us, especially in the time of Quran. Uh, so until what? Until he reached the sitting place of the sun. You see here in translation, they are saying the sitting of uh, the, the, you know. Uh, but we will go with the sitting of the sun. He found it, the Muslim they say, oh, he thought, it, it doesn't say that. It says he found it. When I say he found it, I'm reporting a find, not a thought. And here you see the Muslims, how they try to corrupt. What is the Quran saying? They say a finding thing is not real. No, finding things, it's about a fact. You don't find things unless it is a fact you report a fact actually uh, 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 Abdul uh, his name is uh, Fifi he said uh, if you remember he made a cartoon uh, in, in the same uh, story brother it says that there is a, a Al Khadr he found the wall want to collapse and then he made a throne uh, a cartoon <laughs> a sad wall the wall now is going to collapse he did not pay his bills. He's going to jump, you idiot. The finding is about the wall. What will world would do after is your stupid Quran saying. So he found the wall. Was the wall there? Yes. He thought it's a wall? No. Is it a wall? Yes. So you are stupid and you are certified. Don't like your prophet. So he found it set in a spring of murky water. Here you will see how they got them busted when they claim that this is how he thought it is in the ocean. But there's no ocean. Spring of water is not an ocean. Since when a spring? You know what? For some reason, sometime I go on my shower top and I feel like it's an ocean. I never thought about it. Hmm. I mean, what is the difference? In my shower top, the water is hot. This water there is hot. In my shower top, there is a, uh, you know, I, I buy it like this is a Western stuff, you know, like they, they call it shampoo, you know, shampoo. Shampoo is something you put for over your salad, you know. Anyway, so you, you, you use shampoo and then the water will turn murky. It's exactly what happened to you in the shower. It says a spring of water. Where is the ocean? And it's not murky water, by the way. It is boiling water. The stupid, they don't even understand Arabic. Ha, ha, you know, when we say hamia, it's the same as hamia. But the stupidity of the Quran always cannot say the word correctly. This is why Muhammad himself he says, Ainun hamia. Hamia is not warm water, too. Translation here is false. Hamia is hot. Hmm? This is why the Quran says, if we go in the Quran, we will see the same word. It's about 
hell. But eh, stupidity. It's not only hard, it's going to be very, you see, Narun Hamia, chapter 101, verse 11. Hmm? It's a blazing hot, not just hot. All right? So this is what Hamia means. So this is not the same as in chapter 88, verse number 4. It is a very hot. I just burned my hand. All right? This is, you see how we get them busted? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So, Allah reporting a finding, not a thought as they lie to us. And Muhammad confirmed that. Near it, near what? Near the spring where the sun set. Do you see even how the verse itself explain itself near it near what near the spring of the boiling water he found so this is a physical place a physical spring of water and this is where the sun go and uh, hide hmm. uh, uh, a muslim calling me a fiscopath a friend, a fiscopath is this, a guy uh, who, okay, let me, let me explain to you, as long as you mention this, you are a Muslim and you ask for it. Uh, and I am here in your servant, my, I'm your servant, my friend. I'm here to help you. Let me show you the fiscopath as long as you are the one who mentioned it. Fiscopath is somebody, he claimed that he is taking a shower, but he is jumping in the water, have dead dogs. La 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 dead dogs dead women blood from period la 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 I am so excited to take a shower la 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 I mean you are talking about fiscopath and this guy says what his name Sabil what was his name what can modern science learn from Prophet Muhammad about what? About hygiene. The whole the whole video is about hygiene. Look at the hygiene, man. This is not only hygiene. This is high hashish. This is not hygiene. This is high coca uh, cocaine. This is high morphine. This is high hashish. This is all kind of the high in the world. The guy obviously is high. And you are talking about you know you know these days everybody at home, so I see my uh, my connection is going like up and down. So in case in case don't forget we will be later live on air and the video will be in my account Christian Prince. All right here, let me post the link for you, brother. All right, and the uh, <clears throat> brother, you can join us later. And we will be in this account, not in the Arabian Prophet, Christian Prince. All right. Just click there, subscribe, and uh, set up the reminder in your phone so you can be. You see here, there's a. Okay, brother, let me teach you some science. Science of a Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, he set for you a reminder. It's called the Quran. Here you click at the Quran. The Quran called itself in the Quran reminder. Remind us about what? Remind us about what the sun said. How the flying carpet of Suleiman fly, uh, how Suleiman he check his birds, how he heard the ant, uh, how the hail come from the sky. Allah, he break mountains, have hail, and he break hail, and he throw it. Uh, all this will remind us. All right. So here you can uh, click at the, uh, at the reminder, and you will be uh, in the halal uh, zoom. All right. So don't forget, this is the link we posted for you and uh subscribe there and join us we will be live on air soon in a few hours from now all right and again this is the link for the one who just joined to join us later so look what happened we will go back to the verse by the way but this guy who called me fisco fisco bath i mean what kind of a prophet he jump in a in a water have dead dogs and there's a guy, his name is Peacemaker, he's a Muslim, he says, you're still alive? Yes, I'm still alive, Muhammad is dead. Do you know how he died? Let me show you. 
I mean, why you Muslim you say things to me? Anything you say to me is going to be used against you in the court of law. Look at this. Brother, I'm still alive. Yes, peacemaker. Are you still alive? Really? Yes, I am. Your prophet is dead. Jesus is alive. I mean to that. How the prophet die? The prophet in his element in which he died used to say, used to say, focus with me with the word used. I like the word used, which means he say it always, like used. Oh, let me. Maybe you are slow, you don't understand. Used. You know what used mean? Like he say it every few minutes. He used her Aisha. Oh, Aisha. Oh, Aisha. Aisha. Hey, prophet, what's wrong with you? Aisha. I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. Prophet, you just told me that five minutes ago. Why do you keep repeating it? Oh, Aisha. Oh, Aisha. 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 Don't say it again. You just told me the same sentence. Change it. Aisha. I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. What's wrong with you? Just change the sentence, man. You keep repeating the same sentence. Oh, it says there, he used to say that. He used. You know what he used to? Huh? Oh, Aisha. Oh, Aisha. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy. Mommy blue. Oh, mommy blue. Oh, mommy. So here in the, in the song, Aisha is mommy. And the blue is the poison. And Muhammad turned blue. And you are telling me you're still alive. Yes, I'm still alive. Your prophet is dead. And look how he died. And I will not give you the, the name of the poison of rats he, she got from, from, from Walmart. Because I am very careful about the health of people. I don't want people to go and buy this. Already we don't have it white papers. I mentioned now the name of the uh, poison for rats. Or, or maybe we'll start buying it and we will be out of it. So I'm not going to share with you the name. It's called Kara, Kara, Karakokin. I will not say the name Karakokin. Did I say it? Okay, I, I, because I'm a smart Arab. Anyway, so we go back to our topic. So as you see in the in the Quran, Quran of Allah, he tells us a fact that he found the sun where it's sitting in a spring of boiling water, and near it, brother, he found people. That's a location then. And here. Alexander the Great, who is a bisexual, suddenly he became a prophet of Allah. Allah spoke to him. You know, the funny that Allah he spoke even to Alexander the Great, he refused to speak to Muhammad. Look, he said, We said to him, We said, Who's saying we? Who's we? We, 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 we. Allah, we, we. Allah is we because Allah is like the Muslim, they say Allah, he say we because he speak like kings, you know. But this is very silly. I mean, so if you are saying we like king, so when you say I, in different places, that means you are not a king no more. <laughs> yeah, you make yourself a king equal in language. What about making miracles? Who cares for kings? Kings die like rats. Everybody die. Yeah, the only living is the living God. So king, what God? So if he is God, he do not need we. But anyway, we say it always will hmm? either to punish them or treat them with kindness. Look at this wisdom. If, 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 if. And now Zulkarnayn, like he got the answer from his God. Allah, he told me what to do. And what he told me to do? Punish them, not to punish them. Punish them, not to punish them. Punish them, not to punish them. Not punish them, not to punish them. Punish them. You know, Zulkarnayn, now he have a flower in his hand. Like he have, like he, he's in the field. And he have all the flowers in hand. It was a springtime. So he grabbed flowers one by one. And he take the leaves of the flower. Punish them, not to punish them. 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 So what Allah told him? Allah told him, punish them or not to punish them. So what is the answer? I mean, have you ever heard of a wisdom more than this dummy? Either to punish them or to treat them nicely. What is that? Which one? Hmm. And then, Zulqarnayn said, whoever, look, Zulqarnayn is smart, not like Allah. Whoever does wrong, him shall be punished. Then she'll be sent back to his Lord, which means he will slaughter him. And he will be, he will punish him 
with punishment and heard of before. Like what? If, 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 if. A punishment he never heard about it before. Like what? Hmm. I'm afraid. He would do what Allah said in the Quran. Anyone remember? In the Quran, Allah he said that those who don't believe in him and those who disobey the Prophet from the Muslims, Allah will insert in their anus a long, very long chain. How long? The funny, the, the number of the verse, it's a miracle. Look at this. 69. Oh boy. Look what Allah is doing. 69. And what the verse saying? Further make him march in chain. What, what do you mean march in chain? Why you, why you Muslims lie on translation? This is about inserting a chain in his anus. Like, hello? You march in the chain by... I cannot believe it. Seriously, I cannot believe it. I mean, the Muslim translation is very, very tough situation. Rabbun yasta'iru musu halaqa. You stupid donkey. This is not about the God you eat it. This is about the Lord of the, of, of, the, of, the, of the Assyrian. You see, peacemaker, you are a donkey like your prophet. Yaqassu sha'ru musa. <laughs> peacemaker why you don't call me guys what do you think if we ask a peacemaker to call me are you willing to call me peacemaker so we can laugh just you you specifically you i like to speak give you a nice spanking in the morning what do you say do you do you dare do you dare hello Peacemaker, I will give you a chance, opportunity. This is a golden opportunity. No, I'm laughing at you because you are the stupid. You see, when a Muslim, he tried to explain a verse in the Bible and he come with false meaning, we laugh at you. Here we go. Look, look what I said. Did I say that Allah will insert in your anus 70 cubit? I will prove it. Can you prove what you said? Is that fair, guys? Can you prove what you said in Arabic? That this is what the Bible is saying? You cannot because you are a donkey. Let me show you. Here we go. You know whatever we say here, we show. Let me go to uh, to the interpretation. Interpretation. And we will see if it does say that or not. If a Christian friends is saying the truth, it's mean he's saying the truth. If it's not, it's mean you know we cut in bus. Sixty nine. Sixty nine mean. All right, this is Ibn Kathir, and we'll go to 69. Go to 69. Don't do 69, peacemaker. Okay? Just go to 69 now. Don't do it. This is 69, peacemaker. Hmm? And what verse we are talking about, brother? Hmm? 32, you see it? 32. ثم في سلسلة ذراعها سبعون ذراعا فاسلكوا Fasliku. Let us see how Fasliku had worked. All right. So we go here. This is Ibn Kathir, brother. Let us see what uh, Ibn Kathir, the scumbag, he say. Ibn Kathir, by the way, is a big fat liar. All his book, Tafsir, is not to say the truth. It's just to defend Islam. He never explained the Quran. He's just trying to defend it. And fasten him with a chain, therefore, length is 70 cubit. Kabul Ahbar said, Every ring of it will be equal to the entire amount of the iron found in this world. If, 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 this is a lot of iron, friend. So, every ring of this is chain equal to all the iron in the world, and they will go inside your anus. How big your anus, space maker? Hmm? Hmm? I, I don't know how to read. Okay, why you don't call me and correct me? Guys, he said he didn't know how to read. It's recorded. You can call me and read for me. 
Uh, by the way, uh, hold on, hold on. Just to show you the stupidity of those who try to refute us. Just to show you. Poor. He do not know how to read, right? You're a prophet, do not know how to read at all, you donkey. So if I am poor, according to you, because I don't know how to read, right, which is absolutely your garbage. So what you will say about Muhammad who do not know how to read his name? Now, if we put the name of Muhammad and the name of a donkey in front of him and we say, Muhammad, which one is your name? He might point his finger at donkey, which is you. Hmm? <coughs> do you see how you insult your prophet? Look at the corruption of this cult. All the Muslims do not know how to read Arabic. Make fun of them. Your prophet do not know how to read Arabic. Make fun of him. Hypocrites. Potato. Stupid. Idiot. Oh, by the way, I'm not giving you those names. You don't deserve them. You know, I'm just trying to find out which one is you. But none of them. You don't deserve any. To be honest with you. Now, we, we continue, we continue the, the miracle of Allah and how Allah will, uh, you know, uh, uh, do, do a potato. So, the entire amount of the iron in the world will go inside your eyes. Okay, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, you know me, like I like to do art. Excuse me here, this is not sexual. So, this is a peacemaker, anus. Allah will bring all the iron in the world. Tons of iron, billions of tons of iron, and he will push them inside the anus of a. Uh, it will be a. That's a true story. I mean, things can happen. That's that must be true. First, brother. Okay, hold on. If we ask Zach and Nick how those things work, he will say to us. Zakarnaik will not answer unless it's three time ringing that the prophet, you know. Uh, hello? Christian Prince, I did call me. Hey, come on, Zakarnaik, I cannot live without you. Have, uh, let, us, let us face it. Exactly. Okay, uh, Zakar, how the Quran saying that Allah will insert your anus, all the iron of the world? First of all, you have no idea how big my anus. So don't question that. Uh, is it big? I'm not going to tell you. Is it small? It sounds like you are very, you are doing sexual harassment for me now. Uh, but, uh, so how Allah will insert all the iron in the world inside the anus, man? I mean, how big is the anus uh, of a human being? How you can do that? It's a miracle. You don't understand the miracle. Ah, it's a miracle. Uh -huh. You know, uh, uh, Zach and Mike, did you hear uh, uh, about uh, explanation for this verse? Please read First of all, you are ignorant, and I can tell you from NASA what you will show me from NASA, man. Don't involve NASA in this now. We're talking about anus. What anus have to do with NASA? I will explain you. You are stupid and you are an idiot. And you don't know how to read correctly. First of all, NASA speak about the, the black hole. B black what? Black hole. Okay. That is the anus. What? The black hole is the anus. May Allah anus you. How you come with this conclusion, man? It's proven because this anus can swallow anything. This anus can swallow, but this is in, in the space. Exactly. Because the anus of the disbeliever is going to be in the space. Uh, you know, Zach and Zach, I never heard of this before, but thank you for the explanation. This is, fa this is fantastic. Exactly. It is fantastic. And I will tell you why. Because the other example, you have a fan in the roof and they have tastic underneath of it. Where? And the need of it. Okay, and what does this have to do with the anus? This is an anus issue. A anus? Exactly. Hmm. Mean. Okay, Zach and Nick, thank you very much for help. We will call you later if we need you. I'm not going to hang up. What do you mean you don't hang up? Well, we are done. Just go. I'm not going to leave. Why you will not leave? Because I love to talk about anus. You love to talk about what? Anus. Okay. Do you want to add more things to that anus issue? I'm going to do you something and I'm going to terrify you. Allah is going to insert the, in the anus a long thing. Long what? A thing. Don't spit at me, man. 
okay, chain. He will insert a, a, a chain in the anus. And uh, what he would do that? He is going to extract the thing from your nose. From the nose? My nose or your nose? You know the Christian prince. Because I'm a believer. And Allah is not going to touch my anus. Uh, Zach and Naik, are you, is your, are you saying your anus is protected by Allah? Exactly. And what about your... <clears throat> exactly. And what about your... Uh, <clears throat> exactly. What's wrong with you? Whatever I say to you, I say exactly. I'm not talking about your penis. I'm talking about your belly bone. Because I heard the Prophet say it, that the reason we have belly bone because shaitan, he spit there. Is that true? Exactly. What the heck? We have a belly bone because shaitan, he spit there. This is the truth. And it is proven scientifically. And I can prove it for you. Okay, Zach and I, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have to hang up. Chris and Prince, you cannot hang up on me. Why I cannot hang up on you? Because simply, I am hacking your phone. And you cannot try it. He's right. It's not hanging up. Okay, Zach, stay with us. And uh, we will be happy to hear you if you have any comment. We will continue reading. I'm not going to read dog. What? I'm not going to read your dog. I'm going to disturb you. Ah, you are going to act like the genie who jumped in the shoulders of the prophet. Are you? Exactly. Zachary Naik, all my life I thought about you that you are a genie. But you are not in the ball. You are in a four western suit and you look so funny because of your trousers so short. First of all, the prophet of Allah, he said, if your trouser is higher and down the ankle, you will go to hell. And I'm certain it because I don't want to go to hell. But uh, isn't it the Prophet say the one who act like them, he is one of them? Exactly. So why you are wearing a suit? You are acting like them. You will go to hell, Zakir Naik. Zakir? Zakir? Zakir, he hang up. Don't ask me, please, what the last name of Zakir mean. It's a very faithy word. We continue. So Allah, brother, this is all science, by the way. This is always a pure science. We did not say anything except science. So Allah, brother, He will uh, He will arrange you on a stick that behind being roasted, like roasted barbecue. This is barbecue. Hmm? And Al Wafi reported Abn Abbas said it will run from his behind, which means his anus. Hmm? Until it's brought out of his nostrilis, uh, where is the peacemaker? I do not know how to read this one. Uh, from his two nostril, how you can get it from the two in the same time? This is a miracle. How one chain is going to come from his two nostrilis? Okay, hold on. This is an explanation. This is really complicated. It is above my uh, payment grade. So now, okay, hold on. I don't know how to explain this one. This is this is a. This is amazing. This is a miracle. So this is your nose, brother. And your nose, brother, have one hole from here and one hole from there. And now Allah will take the chain out from both of them. How that will work? Hello? It is one chain. How the chain will come from both of them in the same time? Me. That is something. Me, myself, I cannot do it, to be honest with you. Only Muhammad bees upon him, he can do that. All right. So, uh, I mean, why we are even here, man? Uh, we are talking about science. Uh, look at the science. Look at the science. Okay, here is getting more complicated. It will be entered in his buttocks. Buttocks? What buttocks mean? Okay, I know there's many Indonesian here that don't understand English, and supposedly my English is perfect. So I'm going to explain to you what buttocks mean. Okay, brother. This is a man. Here, there is like a, a, a pimple come out. Hmm? Here, this is his uh, his waist, and then there is a pimple here. Okay, it looked like a pimple, like a like an onion, onion, you know. And this is like here, 
All right? This is his legs, brother. All right? Here, there is a line, brother. That's exactly what Allah is talking about, brother. Allah will enter the chain in the buttocks. The buttocks God. I don't know if I need to explain it to you more, brother, but this is, let us say, this is the chain. Okay, hold on. Let's, 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 let us draw the chain. Uh, chain. Uh, I'm trying to make it small so you can understand, but this chain is big. Remember, it's like one, every ring is like one, all the iron in the water, brother. All right. So this is like the chain or, you know, in the, in the anus uh, coming, you know, like you're going in. This is the chain. Long chain, 70 arm cubit, but the 70 arm cubit, not our size, the size of Allah. So all of this, Allah will like, with no Vaseline, no Vaseline, no, uh, you know, no, 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 so, so, like material. Fantastico, fantastico, lovely. Hmm. My little brother draw better than you. Guys, somebody get off he offended me now. His little brother, he draw better than me. Not only Muslim, they make fun of me. I do not know how to read. And now his little brother, he draw better than me. But can your little brother come with a story like this, brother? He cannot. Hello. <laughs> Let your little brother help you. Unbelievable. So, brother, this uh, chain will enter in his buttocks. And pulled out of his mouth. If, 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 if. Well, hold on. A second ago, you said it from his nose. I mean, just we go, if you line up, it says nose. What happened? Is it his nose or his toes? Hello? What's wrong with those Mohammedan? Why they are confused? In the same page, one he say it is his nose, the other one say it is his mouth. Let it go, let it go. Islamic story, as you know. Why we have only 871? Okay, let me tell you what happened. Last night, last time, there's only like, we have 1,300 only. So I, I, I pray to Allah and uh, all those who didn't attend our uh, program, Allah, he blocked their anus and now they are suffering. Yeah, go check out, check it out. You go to the bathroom like, eh, eh, eh. You remember that, you remember the video of the Sheikh who was explaining why you go to, to the bathroom, you think he will do it in five minutes and then you stay for two hours? Because Shaitan, according to Prophet Muhammad, he blocked your anus and he insert a screwdriver inside and he get in. Allah can do that to you. This is why Muhammad, he said, before you enter the bathroom, you have to say a prayer. You know what? Thank God that the majority of those people who go in the bathroom in the women at uh, bathroom in the airport are not Muslims. Because already you have a long line of women in the front of that bathroom without making prayer to Allah. So imagine if all of them, they are Muslims. And now, additional to all the makeup and lipstick and all the stuff they do in the bathroom, they have to do a prayer before they enter. Unbelievable. That's mean the airport will be black, brother. And those women, they will miss their airplane. By the way, why, why, uh, why the bathroom of women in the airport always is long line? I thought first time like there's a buffet, like an open buffet or a restaurant or something. I don't understand why there's long line of women. And the bathroom of men is empty. Eh, don't ask me. All based in the knowledge of Allah. Let it go, let it go. Okay, now. <clears throat> mm. Who's here first time? Do, do we have any here? Anyone is first time here? Okay, if you are first time here, I warn you. You will be addicted and you will not leave. 
and then you will have fight with your wife and you get divorced because you are staying in front of my computer longer than what you should so i'm warning you disclaimer first time is going to be for always always all right all right so now we go back to the story so allah will pull it out from his mouth and he will uh, arrange name in the chain just like loctos hmm. Hmm. okay how heavy this chain see the muslim don't let anything go they have to explain to you everything based on science if a drop of lead like this like the, the, the top of his finger and pointed at his skull or skull his bones or his his, uh, his, uh, his 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 head were sent from the heaven to the earth it is distance 500 years travel hold on hold on hold on, hold on. that's too much brother i mean this is really too much now so now we are hmm. Let us uh, try to explain this scientific uh, 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 thing. So, uh, this is the space. This is the space. Okay? And let us say that this moon is a drop of lead. And this drop of lead, brother, is falling down to the earth. Brother, the Muslims have all numbers. The Prophet told them all numbers. Is going to take 500 years to arrive. 500 years. Oh, hold on. 500. Oh, why I'm typing in which language I'm typing in Arabic? I mean, uh, okay. 500 years. Years. Brother is going to take this drop of lead to arrive to the earth and by the way this is proven to be true hmm? the first question will come to my mind <clears throat> did i say my mind oh yeah i'm a christian i'm allowed to use my mind well, only Muslims are not allowed to use their mind. Okay, so the first question come to my mind as a Christian and doesn't come to the mind of the Muslim because they are Muslims and they are not allowed to use their mind. The Quran says, chapter 5, verse 101, ask not questions. Verse 102 says, why? Because if you ask, you will leave Islam. So the science of Allah and his prophet says that the distance between the heaven and the earth is 500 years. Okay, let us make a different color, brother. 500 years actually there's a hadith muhammad he said that and the muslim they say it is da'if everything is da'if in this cult muhammad is da'if allah is da'if mimi fifi is everything everything is da'if 500 years hmm. suppose this is far i'm not sure about that And how the Muhammadan they knew it take 500 years? Any Muslim can tell us? 500 years? Hmm. Hold on, I need to drink more, more tea. That is pure science. Put the link in the bottom. Don't talk about button, please. This is a very respected channel. We don't talk about button here. We talk about anus. We talk about uh, vagina. But button, no. Come on. Here and stop. Don't exceed the red line, please. Never mention the word button. The prophet, he forbidden the word button. It's haram. I mean, come on, don't make me breathe angry. Last time I got angry, I did a lot of uh, crazy stuff. I stepped without my shoes. 
which is very rare. Actually, sometimes I get so angry and I get take a shower like Prophet Muhammad with dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage, which is uh, <clears throat> proven to be scientifically pure, as you see in this green. Hmm. All right. Where we stop? Where we stop? Ah, let us go back to Zul Kurnain, man. What's wrong with you? I mean, what, what? Why this guy is jumping from chapter to chapter? Ah, I will tell you why this guy is jumping from chapter to chapter. I will explain it to you, brother. Hold on. Give me a second. <clears throat> Anything we say to you here is going to be scientifically proven by Prophet Muhammad. If we ask a Muslim why Christian prince he jumped from place to place, he will say to you, and he will explain it to you scientifically. He said to you, isn't it this is what monkeys do? He's a monkey. What is the proof? The Quran? Quran, brother. The Quran. By the way, I don't like to look at the mirror, honestly. I mean, I, if I am this monkey, I will not do that. I mean, come on. Are you serious? What, what are you doing? I broke all the mirrors in my house. I don't want to see anything about me. Unbelievable. And look like this guy is looking like he thinks like he is like a, uh, he's so handsome, like uh, uh, Ahmadinejad, the prime minister of Iran. Very handsome. So anyway, how we prove that he's like a monkey? Because the Quran, brother, the Quran proved it, brother. The Quran says the following, that those people who did fishing in Saturday, brother, Allah, he turned them into monkeys. You know, the, the atheists, they fight with us Christians to debate us to prove that we used to be monkeys and we became uh, human. The Muslims, they fight with us to prove to us that we used to be human and we became monkeys. Ask, ask them, look at this challenge, man. Ask them, like Muhammad is calling, like a hey, Christian prince, I'm going to ask you because Allah told me, okay, what you ask me? Ask them concerning the town standing close by the sea. Behold, they transgressed in the matter of Sabbath. If, 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 if. Look how much Allah He cared for Sabbath. So why Muslims you take Friday? Eh, just let it go. For on a day of the Sabbath, their fish did come to them. So what happened? In Sabbath, the fish come in the top of the water and say, ah, 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 ah. Today it's Sabbath, you cannot fish us. And then, openly, I love it when you say openly. It's like Zachary Naik explaining something. In chapter 7, verse 143, it said that the very was in the sea, and those are fishermen. And the fish come to them in suddenly, and the fish them in the top of the water, and say to them, you cannot fit me. You cannot fit me. You cannot fit me. Oh, oh, oh. You cannot fit me. You cannot fit me. You cannot fit me. Oh, oh, oh. And those do it. They cannot fit them because this is Saturday. It is Sabbath. And the fifth brother used to come openly and they are so in their head. Ah, ah, cuckoo, But on a day, had no Sabbath. They come not, brother. Look at this story. So Allah, he stopped the fish from coming in the whole week and he made the fish come in the Sabbath. Those people are dying from hunger now. There's no fish the whole week. And Sabbath, they cannot fish. So first week, they could not do it. Second week, there's no fish. Third week, there's no fish. And now what they would do? So they broke the Sabbath and look what Allah, he did to them. They did fish in Saturday, brother. And what Allah He did. You go a few verses down, you will see it says, 
And when they do transgress, brother, of what we forbid them from doing, we say to them, be monkeys. What the heck? Be monkeys. In the cult of Islam, only if you break a command of God regarding Sabbath, he will make you a monkey. But if you rape a woman, he will not make you a monkey. If you rape a child, he will not make you a monkey. If you uh, kill, steal, do anything you want, he will not make you a monkey. If you break Sabbath, Allah will make you a monkey. You know what, Muslims, the, the Jews, I mean, in Israel today, they have a lot of uh, festivals. One of them is a gay festival, and they do it specifically in Saturday. So Allah, he made the Jews monkeys for fishing in Saturday to, feed, to, to eat to feed their children. And he don't make the Jews monkeys for something like this. Hmm. Makes sense, brother. Makes sense. True story. Now we go back to our story, brother. Uh, big fan of Ultimate Fart. Oh, this Ultimate Fart is not even a Muslim. He is a, he's a former follower of Rashad Khalifa. You see, all the claim of this Rashad Khalifa, uh, I, I destroy it in two seconds. All of it is based on number 19. And number 19 starts from the Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim And we showed you that this is not a true. There's no 19 there. It is 23 letters. So all the claim is collapse. And actually, even Muslims, they don't accept it. And you will find tons of articles exposing this Rashad Khalifa made by Muslims themselves. So those are not Muslims. Those are stupid people. They are desperate trying to find something about Muhammad. And Rashad Khalifa come with this funny numbers thing, which is absolutely fraud. We, we can destroy any of his claim in two seconds. Uh, anyway, we are here debating Islam. We are not debating a cult started in Arizona and there's a few thousand people follow it we we focus in the head of the snake Muhammad so here you notice when Allah he speak about uh, Alexander the Great and he talk about the sunset and Muhammad he confirmed that then not only that Alexander the Great not only he found where the sunset place he found where the sun rise You will see that he changed his direction. So now he reached where the sun set. And now he will go what the opposite direction where the sun rise. Until he came the rising place of the sun. And here you see the stupidity of the one who made the Quran. Because you do not need to go to a place where the sun is rising unless it is what? He meant to be a location where the sun come from. Correct? Otherwise the sun rays everywhere. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because the, the Muhammadan, they would try to say to you, oh, this is how he thought. Oh, this is how it appeared to him. We, got, we can get you busted easy with this. Because it says, he keep going until he came to the rising place of the sun. And this guy, he spent years of his life in his journey. So every day, every day the sun is rising. So what it says here, that finally he arrived to the rising place of the sun. And what he found? He found it rising on people who Allah did not provide a shelter. Actually, uh, I found that this uh, this verse here, uh, the Muslim, they claim it is about, brother, global warming. Do you believe it? My Bible say the same thing you have seen. Okay, I think, can you call me and show me where my Bible says the same? Can you? Because what you are saying is, is false. You see, the Bible using uh, a language, it's called, you know, let's say, uh, phrase until now we use. Like as an example, the four corners of the earth, this is what we use until now. Open many books written now, not 10th century ago, you will find they are saying the same. In the map, you have four corners of the map, but this is not true. This is virtual. This is a, 
a figure of speech. So don't fabricate things because the Bible says, my friend, that the earth is hanged on nothing and the earth is in the shape of a spear or spear. Does it say that, guys? So the Bible says it clearly that the earth is not flat and the earth is hanged on nothing and the earth have no corners. Uh, let us show some verses. Even they are trying to take us away from our topic, but it's okay. Brother. <laughs> so, when a Muslim, he says something, he try always to fabricate his stories is not there. A stories, which is nothing but a fraud. Let us see. <clears throat> uh, and actually there's many verses in the Quran by the way Muslim claim it is science it is stolen from the Bible too even those they are stolen from the Bible if we go in Isaiah chapter 40 verse number 22 what it says let me open the Bible And this is, the, by the way, this is the translation using the word circle, but it's not really exactly a circle. But anyway, it is he that he stretched stith upon the circle of the earth and the inhabitants, therefore, as if they are a grasshopper, that he stretched out the heaven as a curtain and he spread them out as a tent to dwell in. This is a book written thousands of years ago saying that the earth is not a flat and the earth have a shape of like what it's like round shape and not only that in different verses says that the earth is hanged totally and nothing which means it's an empty space while in the quran it says it clearly that the earth is a flat and allah he made it flat and he placed mountains at the top of it same we can find in other verses in the bible many verses but you see, we Christian, we don't go and brag about it, says the Bible speak about science, because the Bible is not the book of science. Job 26, verse number 7, He stretched out the north over the empty space, and he hanged the earth upon nothing. How many thousand years took a human being to find out that the earth is hanged on nothing? But we don't see Christians making a big fuss about it. Those are only stories for those who have no stories. They are bankrupt, so they try to find science in their book to prove their God. And then when we study the, or their book, we find it's a joke. And look what, he, what, the, what the Muhammadan he said. He said, we can find the same in your book, which means he agreed that his book is a stupid. He agreed. He confessed that he believed, agree that his book is stupid. But he's trying to make it better. So he said, oh, not only my book is stupid, your book is stupid. Hmm? That is your logic. So look at this madness. Allah who knows best. Where in the Quran it says the earth flat. All the Quran says the earth flat. Actually, the story in the front if you prove in it. Why? Because there is a place where the sun set and there is a place where the sun rise. And the guy is going in the earth. How we can prove it easy? Let us see. Hmm. He asked me where in the earth it says the earth is a flat in the Quran. Many verses. And just to show you the madness of those who defend Islam. Once there is a guy, he made a video to refute me. And he claimed that in chapter 79, verse number 30, speaking about the earth in the shape of an egg. And then every stupid idiot from 
the follower of Muhammad, he start copying this video and start saying the same. But this is this guy is the donkey. The haha is not the same as the word duhya. The haha, it's an action, it's an act. You make it flat. How we can prove that? You see here in the Muslim translation, look what it says. And then the earth, moreover, he has extended to wide expense. Doesn't say that. Let us get them busted. Give me a second. No way, the Muslim website of the King of Jordan is working? Oh boy, that's unbelievable. What happened, what happened? That is not normal. This guy website never work. Let us see. Just to show you how they fabricate in the translation to change the meaning. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan, the Sira Jalalain, the Royal of Ahl al Bayt Institute, Islamic Thought, Amman, Jordan, owned by the royal family. And after that, he spread the earth, he made it flat. This is what the haha mean. Then, in Islamic websites and Islamic videos, they made the haha is a shape of an egg. If we go right now to the dictionary, you will see that the haha mean flat all islamic scholars who speak arabic very well they say this is what's mean not a single one say egg as they claim so the donkey he's a kid by the way he's just even 20 years old he made a video and then everybody follow it everybody copy even shabir ali donkey And by the way, this chapter here proving to us a mistake. Not only about the earth, because if you read the chapter, you will see that in this chapter here, the Quran saying that Allah He created the earth in the, the heaven in two days. All right. And then he raised the sky up. Muhammad, he is following a legion that the sky and the earth, they used to be attached to each other. And Allah, he spread them. He made it a roof. And that came in from the Persian le le uh, uh, legions and uh, 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 mostly all those uh, legions coming from uh, the east. Uh, but the sky is not raised from us. We are inside the sky. We are just a little dust inside the space. How we, how the, how you raise the sky from us? How how this happen? And then he made the day and the night. And then after that he made the earth flat. And then after that he made the the the, the water. And after that he created the mountain by putting them in the top of the earth. Arsaha. You see, translation is false. It says he has firmly fixed. No, it doesn't say that. And the the mountains he placed it fixed on the top of the earth. If you change the translation, translator, you will find the translation change in a miraculous way. Why? Because they are fraud. None of those people they have dignity to give us a correct translation. But remember here in chapter seventy nine. Verse number 32, the last thing Allah He created is the mountains. The last thing. If you go to the different verse in the Quran, you will find the opposite. Watch with me. Stupidity of the founder of Islam. He cannot even remember Muhammad, the fool. This, uh, it's not working. I tried to move. It's closing fast, man. Ah, I did not say, inshallah. Uh -huh. 
Okay, let's get it from the search. What I can do? It's not working. Hmm? In chapter 41, verse number 9, 10, 11, expose all the lies of Muhammad because compare between them. In chapter 79, what it was saying? The last thing Allah he created was the mountain. What was before it? The water and the grass. What was before it? He made the earth flat, right? Okay. What was before it? He made the day and the night, which means the moon, the sun, etc. What was before it? He raised the sky. What was before it? He created the sky. So the order is as the following. The sky is created. He raised the sky. He made the, he made the light, the lamps. And then uh, and after that, it says it clearly, and after that, he made the earth flat. And after that, he made the water and the grass. And after that, he made the mountain. So the last thing, the last three things happen. Flat earth, water, mountain placed. If we go here, look what will happen. The first thing he created is the earth. After that, he put the mountain on top of it. But this was the last. In chapter 79, the mountains was the last thing he did. And before it was the water and the substance and the, the, the grass. But here it says the opposite. The first is the earth. Then after that, he placed therein on the earth firm mountain, which is scientifically false because mountains are not something placed on the top of the earth. And he finished that in four days. Here, two days. This is six days. The total is six already. And now two days for the for the sky. That is eight days. This is a, this is a, alone is a is a big big uh, big stupid mistake. And then then he went to the sky and he made them seven. And then he finished them in two days. And then he made the stars. But this is the opposite. In the other verse, it says that Allah he finished the sky first. Read carefully. Hmm. Which one is more difficult to create? The heaven he constructed. He raised it high. Okay. It's and he made the night and the day, which means the light, the stars, the light, etc. And then after that, it's so clear, it's not like there's no way to miss it. It says, and after that. So what after Allah finished the heaven and the sky and the stars are there? After that, he starts walking in the earth. And what, what is after? Anything after this word, after that, all of this is after. The water, the mountains. But here the opposite. The earth was first finished. Two days. Then he placed the mountains. In the other verse, the mountains is the last thing. Here is, a, is number two. Here is number two. And then he put all the measure and the substance of the earth, which means water, grass, etc., in four days. And then, thumma, actually, there's, there's an Arab Muslim teacher. He teach Arabic. He explained to you what thumma mean. And he say, and this is his video. Thumma is a statement for a period which happened long after the first thing. Any Muslim can go and search in YouTube what thumma mean, thumma. Arabic class, Muslim, not me. And he's trying actually to bring people to Islam supposedly by teaching Arabic. And he will show you that the word Thumma means something happened after and long after. Then, and this is the Muslim translation, he rose to the world to heaven. What was in the heaven? Smoke. So there was nothing. And then he made them seven. And then he created the stars. He created the lamps. Do you see it? So what the last thing Allah created in chapter 41? The stars. What is the last thing Allah created in chapter 79? The mountains. Totally the opposite direction. Right? Totally. Hmm. 
Hmm. What this guy is saying? Uh, bro, po, porno tribal. CP record 1349 win by Taco. I don't know what this guy is doing. Let us talk about problem of Imam Murrah. I answer this one, you know, you Muslims are a bunch of an idiot. Yeah, there's an Imam, his name is Murrah. You're a donkey. And I show it in the video. There's many Imam, their name is Murrah. Certified donkeys who do not know what they are talking about. What about we talk about Aisha, she did not have her period? Hmm? What about we talk about Fifi claiming that the guy who left Islam, he was a Christian? And we challenge him to go and confront him and record him. Because he claimed that he knew the guy. They knew where he lived. He is their friend in school. What about we talk about him do not know how to read the name of his book he is quoting. What about we talk about him claiming that, uh, actually he said, I challenge Christian Prince. If he can find me this in Fathul Bari, I will apologize from him personally. <laughs> And we show it from the body. <laughs> and this is why the coward, your coward, coward, he don't dare to call me. Did you ask yourself why he don't dare to call me? What he will do? We will talk about Murrah. We will talk about Murrah and Furrah and Durrah and all the Qurra. Hmm? But because you are too much intimidated, the only one who call me is a, is a donkey. His name Ultimate Ford. Why? Because this guy, he fabricate his own. He don't go with hadith. He don't go with tafsir. He don't go. He can, you know, he's a follower of Rashad Khalifa. This is the only guy. Because whatever I show him, he says, I don't believe in this. Hmm. This is the only winner you have. He's a winner. Because he fabricate. But you, who claim you can answer me, who made hundreds of videos. And by the way, uh, uh, the guy, his name is Fifi. He said, why Christian Prince is so popular? Because you, you donkey, you are not calling me to get me busted. Why you don't call me? One call, and that's it. Nobody will listen to Christian Prince. Everybody will see that he know nothing. But you will not do it because you are a potato. And you are a coward, and you know that I'm saying the truth. Hmm? Actually, hold on, uh, I, I did not open. You will see the only one who called me is the guy who called, his name is Ultimate Fart, honestly. Usually Muslim don't call me, what I can do? And Ultimate Fart, this guy is an idiot. We say to him, do you believe in the Hadith? He say no. Okay, how, how many level the heaven? 100. Where you get this from? He had no answer. <laughs> and then he go, he believe in Rash, Rashad Khalifa. You know what? I'm bored. I'd like to call us. Slave of Allah. Huh. Slave of Allah, he says, text me so we can debate. Okay. Let us see if he's, he sent me a message, but I don't know if he's online. Let us see. Slave of Allah. His name is Slave of Allah. That's serious, man. Hello? Hello? Yes, Mr. Slave of Allah. Yeah, this is a Christian prince with you. We are live on air. You said you want to debate me? We are live on air, my friend. Uh, okay. So what, what what do you like to say, my friend? Go ahead. You are live on air. Everybody hear you. What, what is your topic today? Well, we are talking about, uh, right now, actually, we are talking about the contradiction between chapter 41 and chapter 79. There's no contradiction in the Quran. Your Bible has contradiction. Okay. Well, answer me. Who your, bi your Bible your Bible said that the grasshopper has four legs. <laughs> the what, what? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? The, half, the half, four, half, half four. Okay. Let, you want to talk about legs? 
Look in your look in your Bible. You're changing the subject. Why do why do your Bible say the grasshopper have four legs? Okay, well, you know, you can you can show us the verse, and we will laugh. It's funny, and then we will show you an equal verses who will make it funny about your Quran. So you are changing. You are the one. You are the one who change. You are the one who is changing the topic. Hold on. Are you going to debate me, or you are going to talk like a kid? You're talking like a kid. This okay. Is what you do. I say to you, chapter forty-one says that Allah. Which one Allah created first? Here we go. Let's see if, if you have an answer or not. Or you are either you are a man or you are a kid. Which is the first thing Allah He created? The earth or the the earth or the heaven? Please. Which Allah created first? Why it's hard to answer? I mean, don't you know? Which one? He created the heavens first. Allah created the heaven first. Guys, did you hear it? Did you hear it? Which one he created first? When he say the heaven, did he create the, the star? Heaven, the heaven. Did he create the stars before he created the earth? Your Bible has contradiction too, because the earth was there before. My he friend, don't change. We can talk about the Bible. Don't don't about? don't mix between topics. Okay, no problem. We can talk about the Bible, but let us finish this. So, uh, it, Allah, He finished the earth, the, the, the heaven first. You said that, right? And when we say the heaven, do you mean the stars too? It doesn't say the stars. It just said the heaven. So you're just trying to jump around. Like no, around. no, here we go. The Quran chapter 41, proving to us that you are lying to us. And the Quran says that Allah, He created the earth first in two days. Verse number nine. And then after that, He placed mountains in the top of it. And he put all the substance and measured like water and grass, etc. And then after that, he went to the sky. And the sky was a smoke. There was nothing. So why you lie to us and you say that the sky was finished first before the heaven, when the heaven, uh, uh, sorry, the, 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 before the earth, when the fact in chapter 41, it says the opposite. So either you lying or Allah is lying. Which one? Who, who's lying? Who's lying? I'm asking you who's lying because he you said to me I ask you okay. clearly which one Allah created first you said the heaven I said the stars you said yes the heaven so the heaven and the stars are created first and then the does earth it say, does it say that he created the heaven first does it say he created the heaven first no it says he created the earth first read it does he say he created the heaven first the read it. It's chapter so where, chapter. Where okay, my friend, why you don't where, where why you don't read why you don't read why you don't read the chapter forty one verse number nine? Explain to me. Go ahead. Start from verse number nine, and you can read as many verses before if you want, so you don't, don't misquote. But because the story of a creation starts from verse number nine. Yeah, Bible have the contradiction. Okay, here we go. He will switch the Bible about. now. Okay, my friend, my friend. Okay, we got we got your point. We got your we got your point. Are you trying to run away? Are, so are you saying to me? Okay, hold on, hold on. Stop CB, 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 CB. Listen, listen, listen. Why you are running away from the topic? You just said the Bible. Uh, hold on. Everybody heard you. Everybody heard you saying, uh, and the Bible have contradiction too. So you agree that the Quran have contradiction? Chapter 2, verse 7. Go to Psalm chapter 2, verse 7. Quran chapter 1. Jesus is not the only begotten son. What does have to do with my topic? Why you are talking about why you are talking about Jesus not being in son? No, you proved to me nothing. I, I'm showing you in the front of you in the screen that you did lie to us and Allah lied to us. The Quran is a stupid book made by a stupid prophet, and you are a stupid answer is coming to say Jesus is not uh, God and have a son. What does this have to do with the topic? God have a son or not? We are talking about how the earth is created, how the heaven is created. So now look how you jump like a monkey from a place to a place because you are ashamed. You said the heaven created first, the Quran chapter 41. Verse number 9, 10, 11, 13, 12 says the opposite. Allah is not a false prophet. Your book is this is not the question. Yeah. Answer me. I don't care. Your okay. Guys, book. Allah is not false. Bible, Allah, okay. My friend. Okay. 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 Hold on. Just, just get lost. You see the cowards? Are you going to debate me? Cowards. You are not debating. And you admitted, you said the Bible had contradiction too. This is what you said. The Bible have contradiction. You lost the debate already. And the Muslim now, they are stamping their prophet that he is a stupid God, his false God. Because the second you say, the Bible have contradiction too, that's mean now we have two. 
but this is your opinion I did not say yes but by saying that the Bible have contradiction too, you admitted that the Quran is a stupid book I'm not going to waste my time with you screaming and lose my voice God don't have a son what does this have to do with our topic look look, look how they look how they are so fast and he and if you see the text Christian friends I want to debate you I challenge you you are right and the second we start talking he start farting like ultimate fart Do we have any Muslim? Wanna say something serious? We want an adult, we don't want kids. Those are poor Muslim kids. They are desperate trying to find an answer. How we can refute this guy? Your Bible. What Bible? First of all, when you make fun of the Bible, you donkey, you are making fun of Allah because the Quran says that Allah is the one who sent the Injil and the Torah. So if you are saying to me that the book of the uh, uh, and not, not only that. Muhammad he swear by the Torah and he say I believe in thee and the one who sent thee So if there is a contradiction in the Torah as you claim that's mean Muhammad is a fraud anyway Because how he say I believe in thee and the one who sent thee He believe in the contradiction inside it Is that your prophet swearing by the Torah? Taking an oath by the Torah saying I believe in thee and the one who sent thee then he withdraw the cushion from beneath him and he placed the Torah on it saying, I believe in thee and the one whom he revealed thee. What do you want a fraud more than this? Because if the Bible is rejected, if, if the Torah is corrupted and then you swear by it, it's mean you are a fraud. If you ask me, our Christian prince, do you take an oath on the Quran? I would say no, this is the book of the devil. If you ask Muhammad, do you take an oath on the Torah? He would say, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. <laughs> do you see it? And remember, the Muslim they have a problem. You see the the problem that Christians usually, when a Muslim he attack the Bible, he what what the Christian do? They try to defend, don't defend, laugh at them, because simply he's attacking his God. According to the Muhammadan cult, the one who sent the Torah is Allah, brother. If Allah is the one who sent the Torah. Muhammadan is making fun of the Torah of Allah. If Muhammadan making fun of the Injil, which means the gospel, they are making fun of the gospel of Allah, not our gospel. So don't defend love at their claim and love at Allah. The second you say to them, oh, you are saying to us that the Torah of Allah is corrupt. Ah, that's what you mean. He said, right away, he starts saying, oh, no, no, I'm talking about your Bible is corrupt, my friend. My, what my Bible? The Quran says that the one who sent the, the, the Torah and the gospel is Allah. The second you mention to them that you are talking about the Torah of Allah, this is what, this is the truth. You are talking about the Torah of Allah. The Torah of Allah is corrupt. So what's my problem? It is you who have the problem. Not me. And yeah, the Quran speak about animals who they walk, but the fact they don't walk. The Quran says that there's a creatures, or well, obviously snakes, etc. They walk since when they walk. This is your God speaking about animals. Have you ever heard? And Allah has created every moving living creatures from water. Some of them 
or in creep in their belief. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that, CP. In Arabic, it says Tamshi. Yamshi. And anyone, a little donkey in Arabic, he knew what Yamshi mean. Yamshi, you have to walk in legs. You don't creep. In Arabic, snakes, they yazhaf, zahf. When you go in your belly, we say yazhaf, creep. When you walk in your legs, you say Yamshi. The Quran say Yamshi. For what? Describing snakes. And this you see here, Women whom man yamshi ala rajlain. The one who walk in two legs. And some they walk in four, but this is absolutely false. This is Allah's creation. Well, there are some creatures, they have many legs. That's it. This is what Allah created. Some they walk in their belly, which is false. You don't walk in your belly, you creep. This is a mistaken language. Some they walk in two legs and some they walk in four. But there's many creatures, they have many legs. Allah did not create those. Allah created only those, you know. Any Muhammadan? Any Muhammadan? There are some creatures, they have tons of legs, maybe hundreds. What this God is talking about? Going back, so he arrived where the sun rise, the sun place where the sun rise. And here we arrive to a story which is fantastic. Muhammad is telling us that his God speaking. That Zulqarnayn, he built a dam between two mountains. And the purpose of that dam is to stop the people of Gog and Magog from attacking human. How that can be unless the earth is flat? You build a dam, and then this dam supposedly between two mountains, and supposedly those mountains are round in the earth. So they cannot come back. They are, they are behind the wall. If the earth is round, you just simply you can go around and come back. But this is a flat earth. So Allah, he inspire him, and actually those who they are stupid they told him to Gog and Magog and those are people by the way who have a big ear they can sleep inside it and each one of them he is so good in sex to the point he make 1000 baby before he die are doing great mischief in the land shall we pay them pay you tribute in order that you might uh, 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 erect a barrier between us and them the funny, it says, the verse before it, that those people are stupid. They don't understand the word. Do you see the stupid Quran? The Quran saying that those people are so stupid, they don't understand the word. The verse after it, they are coming with a smart idea. And they understand very well. And not only that, Zulqarnayn, he do as he said, which means their advice was wise. Those people, they are, they don't understand the word. And then they say, they say to him, they said, O Zulqarnayn, 
Verily, Jojo and Juj, Gog and Mago, doing a great mischief in the land. Shall we pay you a tribute in order to you might uh, uh, build for us a dam between us and them? Then he said, yes, okay, let us do it. We agree. <laughs> How they are stupid and you take their idea. And then he said, okay, give me pieces of a block of iron when he filled up the gap between the two mountains. We have blocks made from iron between the two mountains and that will stop the Gog and Magog since the time of Alexander the Great from coming to us. And they have to be billions because remember, every one of Gog and Magog, before he die, he have to he have, to have 1,000 baby according to Muhammad. So if we are 7 billion, they have to be 7 trillion. 7 trillion. Where are they? And as you see, this dam is made from iron, which means it's going to be rusted. And we knew that the satellite is scanning every inch in this earth. Where is those people who nobody can see them? Who they are not a human, by the way. Who they are by billions. And they are going to attack the whole earth. And they will control the whole earth. Except the city of Medina. <coughs> hmm? And then, brother, those people of Gog and Magog, they will try to make a hole in the dam. But each time they finish making the hole, every day, every day, until now, they are trying to make a hole in the dam. And then they go back to sleep. They come back in the morning, Allah, he put the hole back. I mean, he, 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 he fix it. Anyone knows why? How the Muslim explain how this hole never been finished to get out? Who remember why? Anyone remember why? Because they forgot to say, inshallah. If you don't say inshallah, your work will not be complete. So those poor Gog and Magog, every day they dig in the hole and they forgot to say inshallah. So when the morning come, they found the hole is fixed. Is that the fiction of Christian prince? No. This, what the, this is the Muslim understanding, not me. You can open any interpretation you want. Chapter 18, verse number 90, 97. You know, and 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 those uh, those stories they show you, they show you one thing that Islam is nothing but stupid fiction stories. Muhammad he collected them from the legions of people before him, and actually even the Quran confirmed that people they say to him this is nothing but the legions of people before you. You know, and Muhammad he adopted he put it in his Quran, as simple as that. So if we go in the let us see it. Let us open it. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. We can show you another tafsir, but as long as this website is working, we will use it. The barrier restrained them. They will not be breached. The hour draw night. So those people, they will not be able, or those uh, those creatures, will not be able to go out from there behind the barrier until the judgment day. Before the judgment day, Allah will open the door for them. Why? Because they say, inshallah, uh, the leader will say, inshallah, and then suddenly the, the, the things will be open for them, will be fine. So, 
so say Jews and Jews cannot uh, scale or dig through it. This is indicate that they could not penetrate or dig through it. Imam Ahmad recorded Zainab ibn Jahsh, Zainab the daughter of the donkey. Jahsh means donkey, by the way. One of you asked me that I said once that Muhammad's last name is Kilab, which means dogs. Is that true? Absolutely true. Muhammad he married from Zainab ibn Jahsh, the daughter of the donkey. And Muhammad's last name is Kilab, which means dogs, not dog. Kilab means dogs, not dog. Uh, anyway, the wife of the Prophet said, uh, La ilaha illallah, we to the Arab from the evil that has approached them. Today a hole has been opened, a barrier of your Gog and Magog. Who said that? Muhammad said that. Muhammad making false prophecy, saying, Today, the Arab, they are going to suffer. Why? Because the hole for Gog and Magog open. This is 1400 years ago. Let us find the hadith in the hadith page. Do you see it? It is Sahih hadith, which is proving Muhammad again to be a false prophet. Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. Everything is written in their books proving to us that he is a fraud. How you claim that today a horror coming to the Arab? Who to the Arab? When today? Today a gap has been made in the wall of Gog and Magog like this. Muhammad is making using his hand to show how big it is. Muhammad, he claimed, they asked him, are we going to be killed and die? He said, yes. Do you see the false prophet? Because he just, he just claimed that the, this hole is open. So now they are out. They are not behind the barrier no more. And then the story continue that this will continue they keep digging until one day the uh, the one the reader he says uh, inshallah and then they will be able to go through if you search about gog and magog in the hadith you will find tons of hadith speaking about it and nothing there except stupid stories this is muhammad the prophet of fictions And what the weapon Gog of Magog will do, use arrows made from what? Made from wood. Do you see it? And they will throw their arrows at the Muslims and the Muslims, they will use their arrow for wood fire for seven years. There we go. Muhammad stuck was seven years. Do you see it? So we are now in the time of a star war. Missiles can penetrate the, the space. And Muhammad is speaking about the arrows who they are going to attack in the judgment day to the Muslims. And the Muslims, they will use it as a firewood for seven years. True story. And remember, this is supposed to happen in the time of Muhammad, which supposedly the judgment day is coming. That's why the moon chapter says the judgment day is near and the moon split. The moon splitting was a sign of the judgment day, supposedly. That has started already. The Prophet said the people will continue performing Hajj and Umrah to the Kaaba after the appearance of Gog and Magog. And then he said the judgment day will not establish till the Hajj abandoned. Nobody will go to the Kaaba. Muhammad making that statement, which you Muslims, you will leave Islam. All those stories about Gog and Magog.
I should make animation movie. I don't have the skills. If you have the skills, help me. We will do it. I made one cartoon. It cost me a lot of money before and uh, took a lot of time. I did not make it myself. You know, we have somebody to do it. In order to do it, I bought him a computer. I bought him the software. I bought him everything he needs just to make a cartoon. And not only that, actually, I gave him any donation I received to him. You believe it? Just for a cartoon. Anyway. Because simply, we want people to know. So we sacrifice anything we can in our hands so we can share the truth with people. Any Abdul? Use Abdul as, as if I am like a, a, a... I'm an Arab, my friend. The first time I get my computer, I turn it on. I didn't know how to turn it off. I called the guy. I said, your computer doesn't work, man. He said, why? He said, I push the thing. It turned on. And now I'm done. I, I push it again. It doesn't turn off. Like, what's wrong with your computer? What's wrong really with this computer? You hit the bomb, it turn on. You want to turn it off, you hit the bomb again, it doesn't turn off. Obviously, there's something wrong with it. And I want to return it, you know. It told me, no, hold on, return it. Hold, hold on, hold on. You don't turn it off this way. There is something in the corner. You go with your mouse. I said, okay, the mouse, okay. And then you go in the corner. And then you click at the thing there. I said, where in the corner? I don't see any bomb in the corner. He said, no, it's not a, it's not a bomb. The mouse, the mouse. I said, wait, okay, where? The, the mouse okay i click in the mouse he said oh, no don't click yet you move your mouse to the corner i said okay i am in the corner now he said not you the mouse should be in the corner he said we are, are very very smart we are super smart anyway after he uh, taught me how to you know i told him i know it man what are you talking about this is very easy for us i mean this we are the one we are the one who created algebra too which is absolutely false you know yeah <clears throat> all those stories in front of us are stupid anyway guys today we are going to go live later anyone remember what we would do who remember what we will do our topic will be answering the guy his name is uh, 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 Sabil Dr. Sabil uh, and the video name let me give you the link. Hold on. We will be late later at night. And this is the channel for those who care to join us. Not in this channel. Remember, not in Arabian Prophet. In the other account, which I use as a backup, I have many backup account. This one have only like 13,000 subscribers. You know, just a backup account. So uh, 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 here we, we use uh, Muslim videos and so you guys you can download it and we get them busted so the topic in this uh, uh, refuting or let's say getting this liar busted it's about the hygiene of a Prophet Muhammad it's going to be like a comedy thing you know so if you'd like to join us later feel free tell your friends DD, DCCI will be going out live later. What time, Phil? Tell people what time so people can go there. Is it the same time I'm going to be live? I don't think so, right? Yeah. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to subscribe to Arabian Prophet. And if you are a Muslim, don't forget to subscribe and unsubscribe because Allah will give you blessing and reward for doing bad deed by subscribing and then Allah will double your deed by unsubscribing. So keep doing that. All right. Uh, you suggest me to read the chapter 74, verse number 6, 6 26, 30. Right, what is that, Yasin? Why you don't call me Yasin and tell me what you like me to read for you? Why Yasin, you are telling me? Uh, by the way, do you know what Yasin means? He, he, he go, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to show you, I mean, Muslims are, they inspire me, man. Honestly, they inspire me. Look, look, look. 
Look, 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 look. His name is Yasin. Do you know what Yasin mean? The Quran used the word Yasin. Okay, what Yasin mean? Yasin. Do you know Yasin? Don't tell me your name is Yasin, but you do not know what Yasin mean. Huh? What Yasin mean? Who is a Muslim? He knew what Yasin mean. Uh, I forgot you are a Muslim. And as a Muslim, you know nothing. As usual. Any Muslim knows what Yasin mean? Nobody? Nobody. Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody. This is additional proof that Islam is a satanic cult. Yasin is the moon god. Yeah, sin, sin, you can search in Google right now, you will find sin is the name of the moon god. Is that right, Muslims? And look how stupid this religion. Allah knows best what he mean by those letters, but it's not a letter, it's a word. Yeah is a word meaning God in Aramaic language. Sin is the name of the moon god. Any of you can search right now. Sin, the moon god. Search it right now. Let me do it for you. Uh, you're a bunch of lazy, all of you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Hmm. Hmm? Do you see it? This is a, say, a name coming from the Akkadian, Samarian, Samarian language, originally, and then it spread all over Europe and the Middle East. And right now, even in English, you say this is sin. What, what does that mean? This is from the moon god. This is from the pagan god. Sin. This is sin. So it became, it became part of the language in English for what is wrong. The god of the moon, sin, was the father of the sun god. Do you see it? And your god, he say, yeah, sin. And if you want to say to me this is not Aramaic word and have nothing to do with Aramaic, we go we change the interpretation. And we will die laughing at the explanation. It says Syriac language, here we go. Even, even you Muslims admitted that this is coming from the Syriac language. Why Allah is using Syriac language in Arabic Quran? Isn't it the Quran is in Arabic? And he didn't know what it means. So everybody, he started guessing what this is mean. Are you there, Yasin? Nice to meet you, Yasin. Moon God, how are you, Yasin? Please, everybody say hello to Yasin. Yasin. <laughs> and you know, I love it when the Muslims, they say Allah knows best what he meant. I mean, this is this is shish kebab falafel religion. Have you ever heard? This is a book. It's called interpretation. In the interpretation, it says nobody can do the interpretation for the interpretation. But all of us we knew. Yeah, is a word meaning God. Yeah, even in Hebrew, yeah, is a word meaning God. You see, in, in the old Aramaic and in the Hebrew, Hebrew is not a language, you know, it exists by itself, is born, all of those languages are coming from the Aramaic. So there is there is certain words used for the word God. Depend in the timing. Yeah, one of them. Yeah is a God. Al is God. Let us make a space between them. Al is God, and then Il is God. As an example, not limited to this.
So depend in the time and the period of the language or the say the, 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 the practice of the of the language, those words change from ya to al to il. So like as an example, Ishmael was not Ishmael, was Ishmael. Israel was not Israel, it was Israel. Mikael was Mikael. Jibreel, Muslim they say Jibreel, it was Jibreel. For all is a word mean God, il mean God, ya mean God. And this word can be placed in the front of the name you want to use for, or the, the, the person, or can be used at the end of the name. So, like when we say Emmanuel, Emmanuel, right? So, you see the word here is moved to the end. But Elohim, in the beginning, all right? So, this is how the word a change in the history of, of, a, of a man but all of them they mean one one thing and by the way it's not important really uh, for me to say like who use it because it's a language like now in English I use the word God when I speak in English but well, we know what God means but this word can be used by a Hindu by a Muslim by a Christian and by Jews or even by anyone any religion but they have different gods. So, il and al and ya is a word mean God. But il and al are attached usually very much in the Bible. We will find them all, all over the place, uh, especially in the ancient Aramaic and the ancient Hebrew. We will find that it is it was al. By the time the language changed, so it became il. All right. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. I hope I hope you guys you have a good time and you did learn something. Each time we go live on air, we share. Uh, you know, you see, I don't prepare myself for what is going to, to to we will say, but the topic will lead us to speak about it, and from there we go. All right. Uh, We will make time for Christians to call us because many they are asking to call. Uh, we, we will give time for the Christians to uh, to call us, but not today. And I need to find a time so you Christians can call me about Islam, and we will be happy to take you. All right. Uh, I think today is enough. But remember again, I, I want to go now because already it's, 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 you know, we are here for how long? And later we will go live. So I don't want to be really tired because if I am really tired, I will not be able to go live on air. And as you know, I have many wives. Guys, you don't know. I mean, pff, man, I, I can't even look at my bed. I mean, they occupy the whole bed, man. One in every corner of the bed. So when I sleep, I sleep in the middle. I mean, that's not fair. You get the bed and you have no space inside. Four wise brother, hara, hara, halal. Listen, we don't cheat. We Muslims, we don't cheat. We do muta. We don't cheat. We have four women at the same time. We don't cheat. We don't cheat, brother. We divorce them by text message and we replace them in two seconds. But we don't cheat, brother. We have to admit, brother. We have to be honest here. We do muta. We hire a woman, we call 1 900 phone number, they send us women, we do muta. We pay her halal. We don't cheat, brother. We do the wajah friend, which means she is my friend, but she is my wife only in the hotel. We don't cheat, brother. We do the wajah travel, which means I go to some place, I don't take my laptop with me. Do you take your laptop? Why do you want to take your laptop to? If you have, there's a laptop there. So you don't take your wife with you. You go to the hotel, you tell the reception, says, I am do. I want to do travel marriage. Halal. They come to your room, you say Al-Fatiha, you know, my wife, I will pay you, etc. And this is called the travel marriage. We don't cheat. We don't. Halal. And not only brother that. 
I am a Muslim. I am allowed to lie to my wife if my wife calls me says, "Is there is somebody with you there?" I say, "No, I swear by Allah, it's halal." It's halal. There is a woman. She you can you can search the, the the fatwa. A woman. She said, "My husband. He go to Jordan, and later I found that he is lying to me, and he is married to second woman." The 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 sheikh is answering. First of all, you have no right to ask him. <laughs> the stupid woman. She marry a Muslim. She is a Western who converted to Islam. Just because for the sake of a man in the bed. Look how stupid some women they are when they do that. And now you are complaining for he have another woman. Don't you know that you are marrying a Muslim? He is allowed to have four beside you, three boys beside you. And he can replace you. And then you are asking the sheikh why he's lying to you. He says he said to her, you have no right to question his behavior. He have the right to marry and he have the right even to lie to you. And I made a video about it. This is what happened to you when you marry a Muslim. Get ready. They speak too much about dignity and honor. The question is, how somebody follow a prophet, his name is Muhammad, he can speak about honor when he have no honor. If your best example, he went to the house of his son wife and he flirted with the wife in the house of the woman who is married. And he said to her, Subhana Mu'allif al And then his God gave him a verse saying, Why you are hiding what Allah he told you about this woman in your heart? Allah encouraged him to have a relationship with married women. Anyway. I want to say thank you for being here again we will be we will be live again in a few hours from now how many hours let us see give me a second how many hours how many hours uh, eight hours from now it says here at 8 30 p.m depend on your time i don't know what your time is 8 30 depend on my computer time uh live in eight hours from now and this is again the channel we will be in if you care to join us how many want to join us feel free to be with us and uh, and we will play the video of this guy his name is Sabir and we will die laughing at the hygiene of Allah Prophet and his God thank you very much for being here don't forget to download the video share it with your friends and if you are a Muslim be proud you are following the best of mankind no one like him his science is amazing. His teaching is beyond imagination. His logic is kidding me. His science is hating me. His education educating me. In the top of that is a promise or melting me. I cannot wait, brother, to go to heaven and get women with big boobs. Every day I go to sleep, I close my eyes, I see boobs. And now the Muslim, they will cut my video and they will say, Christian Prince, everything he go, he say the life in the air, brother. He said life in the air, I swear by Allah. Each time he go life in the air, and I, I, he said, he said, each time I go sleep, I close my eyes, I see boobs. Brother, did you say that? Brother? Yes, brother, I said that. <laughs> what a fraud. The booby God. May Allah boob you. Thank you guys. May the Lord bless you. And we will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon.